Why is this Chinese rap battle going so viral? What did everyone say and who said it? Yeah, this is sort of going viral and I guess the Chinese speaking world or even like the ABC world right now. Long story short, Andrew, there is uh, a bunch of white kids at a boarding school in the UK. There's some Indian kids sprinkled in there as well. And they're having a rap battle in Mandarin, but they're actually just asking each other questions from Chinese 101. David, is this the most viral UK rap battle like this year? Let's run the clip. So, I'm telling you, man, oh, oh, oh. this was Hot the hottest man. rap. I used to, you know, listen to Dipset SAS out of London, you know, Central Seas popping right now. But now you got the kids from the Berkhamstead Boys Boarding School that was founded in 1541. I'm telling you, man. All right, everybody. There's uh, thousands of comments. I got shared this to me over IG many, many times. So uh, everybody, please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Bob Boys as we talk about the comments and why this is going so viral, you uh, know? Well, First of all, Andrew, what is this video, right? Is, is this teacher sanctioned? I'm, I'm assuming these kids are just not having this rap battle for no reason, right? Yeah, I guess it was to promote the languages that they have at the school. So it did its job because now everybody watched this video. Um, but David, do you think it's going viral partially? Not because like the Mandarin is super advanced, but although those kids clearly took the class, uh, do you think it's going viral just because like at this moment, geopolitically things are so hot but then this kind of uh rap battle kind of like just makes things funny yeah i think it's something wholesome and to be honest i think actually geopolitical relations between china and the u.s are worse than china and england and worse especially worse than china and france oh so yeah. so to be honest it's a variance country to country oh you know what i mean so anyway uh, let's get into the comment section and let's get into some takeaways this chinese guy abc said oh man better than me and i'm chinese <laughs> um what do you think man a lot of chinese kids in the west are really bad at chinese it's true yeah. i mean i think it's a variance obviously some people are in the high some people are in the middle some people are in the low and uh, uh sure. yeah some people are no, watching I this mean, like damn these kids i mean they're not really rapping but they are having a roast battle in a rap style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, nothing actual negatively what negative was said. But I think that if you extrapolate, if these kids are 11 and 12 right now and they keep taking Chinese for the next four years, you know, even if they're not Chinese and not in a Chinese household, they'll be able to speak it conversationally, like pretty well if they take it seriously. And I think that it just goes to show you how many people are learning Chinese. Obviously, you know, do I think I would beat these kids in a rap battle? I would like to think so. I would hope so. Yeah, I would hope so. Um, I think so. But overall, it is just funny. And it, it's also, like, funny that they're at a boarding school. They're in their little uniform. Yeah, it's almost like something that looks so anachronistic and out of time for America, right? Like, yeah. Americans are looking at this like, we did away Dude. with all this British vestige stuff in, like, the 19th. 19- 60s or Think whatever. about it. Berkhamstead, founded in 1541. Now you got kids rap battling in Chinese on school campus. Never would I have believed that on the hollow grounds of Berkhamstead. But, you know, things change. Things come and go. And we at Berkhamstead will adapt with the changing globe. Um, This Chinese guy said, yeah, they speak like they are going in for a fight. What is going on? Yeah, well, they definitely captured the rap battle cadence, but they're also not saying anything negative or mean whatsoever. The hardest line in that entire rap battle was like, Ni mama, ji sui, which is like, how old is your mom? So I guess that if, could if, be a diss. Yeah, if your mom is exceptionally old. Right. Yeah, yeah, every, everything. It could be, you know, rap disses, they're <laughs> contextual to what's true or what's kind of true-ish. Um, I would say this is something that it's funny because it's like, who would pay attention to a rap battle in Berkhamstead boarding school, Andrew? It would be like an uncle or a grand uncle of ours overseas who has no idea that hip hop even exists. Right, right, but right. But it's like seeing this, so you're like, oh yeah, why are they fighting? Like, <laughs> like he has no concept. It's funny because, but it is funny to see the kids, Andrew. They look sort of like that Karl Marx anime from China, where it's like, <laughs> like oh, yeah. they almost look like what you imagined elite white kids look like. 500 years ago. Yeah, I mean, it's a boarding school. You know, it costs like, I don't know, $15,000 per term. These kids are at least upper middle class, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Somebody said, Andrew, this is a comment from several Asian women in Asia. 
I think, why are they also good looking la? But why did they look so fine? Hey, Amen. That's I, funny. No, they're good looking. I think they could come from good families. Yeah. No, no. And then, you know what I noticed, Andrew? The, the uh, British kids are much thinner than the American kids uh, at the same they age. They probably have less obesity. Listen, they're 12 years old. Back off. Hey, they do look like they went to school. Uh, like th that's the same school that Benedict Cumberbatch came out of. Oh, honestly, that's it true. looks like it. Somebody said, uh, this was quite funny in a good way. I'm glad they're having fun while learning. Um, somebody said, learning a foreign language should be fun just like this. Oh, my gosh. This was so wholesome. I love how they're gassing each other up. This is great. Yeah. And I mean, does do you, does this speak to running counter to the global narrative? Obviously, right now, like we said, West Dude. versus China, but particularly is the U.S. and other, other countries, you know, more or less. Like, France is, is almost trying to be more friendly, you know? I'm not going to lie. Everything that the British do seems more wholesome than America. America is just not wholesome. But anything that British people do, even the British rap right now, even Central C, who is actually part Chinese. I think he's a quarter, actually. Yeah. But he, he um, hides it because, you know, I don't know. How, I don't know hopefully one of these days, Central C starts repping his Chinese side. Yeah, but apparently he's part Chinese. And I, even his raps are not as, like, crazy as everybody else's. So I, it's just British people right now, it just seems more wholesome. She don't listen to UK rap. Um... Somebody said Mandarin is slowly being adopted as the main extra language in school now in the UK, particularly, obviously, in, in only, you know, more schools that are more forward thinking. Yeah. We need to move with the times. Yeah. Berkhamsted, you know, we, uh, we once ruled the world Yo. before first, but then it was the Dutch, then it was the Americans. Perhaps it is the Chinese. Yo, do you think that, you know how British are all about, like, hierarchy? And, you know, we must, like, we were the winners for so long that maybe they're, like, you know, if we also become great enough at Mandarin and we can speak the language of the Chinese, then we could actually rule the world along with the Chinese. While the Americans are trying to downplay the power, we are going to rise up along with the dragon. <laughs> that, that's an interesting theory. I mean, I definitely think they think different. Yeah. They think different over there. <laughs> Somebody said... Uh, yeah, look at these egg boys. They are the white on the outside and yellow on the inside. Come on, man. He said yeller on the inside. That's pretty funny. Yellow, yeller. Somebody said, I don't know why I find this so funny. Why is this so cute? I mean, if I was just to break down the science of it, it's just something that's sort of like wholesome and shocking yeah. to the mind, right? It's, it's shocking like a, but a, wholesome at the same is time. Is it almost yeah. like a, a kitten and a puppy just like hugging each other or something? Like, Yeah. Yo, this guy said, ah, they're preparing for another opium war. <laughs> Yo, this made me laugh, man. But here, by the way, here is a blurb on the opium war. The opium wars were two conflicts waged between China and Western powers during the mid-19th century. And, uh, yeah, it was about forcing open, open ports and selling opium. What is <laughs> <laughs> like, Ni bu ya wada du ping ma. Yo, oh, David. my gay ni handu opium. I do think a video of some kids in a Chinese boarding school in China, like trying to rap in English and say goofy things. I think that would also get some views as well. But oh. obviously the video of the British kids speaking Mandarin gets even more views. But, but I'll be honest, I, I've, I've seen some funny rap battles in, in broken English. The funniest ones I've seen from Dou Ying that got moved over to Instagram on some of the Chinese accounts and are the ones where uh, the DJ schools uh, that are trying to teach the single children oh, how to yeah. be DJs. Put your having hands up. Turn uh -huh. turn turn. Or uh, Mr. English who's like, yeah, bro, what you want to do? That's how, that's how you speak it in English, you know, when you're speaking English. To, yeah, yeah, it's not fully, <laughs> pee you, trust me, if you, if, it's just funny. It's funny. It just makes you laugh. Somebody said, yeah, but the Chinese era has ended. There's no use in learning Chinese anymore because so many of them learn to speak English. What, uh, do you, what do you think of this? Because this is something that actually some people do say. Yeah, this, right? yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people know that a lot more Chinese people are learning English. So if Chinese people are learning more English, then why do you need to learn Chinese? Well, I still think it's going to get you ahead. I still think it's good for the brain. Even if, and I still think, dude, it's not like everybody's going to learn English in the next 20 years. It's going to be... A little bit longer than that, but yeah, yeah. But no, Mandarin, no, a tremendous amount of Chinese people will be able to communicate in English yeah. at least to like a four out of ten level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some comments were in Chinese. This one said "tamen the faying," just like saying "oh, they're faying," which is their pronunciation is so cute and it's so funny because it uh, it obviously has a a, a British accent to it, a schoolboy posh accent as well as their mm -hmm. speaking Mandarin. And uh, there's another comment that says. Uh, basically saying, uh, do you think when people see us speak English, they're seeing us this same way? 
And no, the, no. I, no, it's not. But it is still kind of funny. I think people still, it is still endearing and wholesome. I guess overall, man, I would say, David, it's like, remember when M, when Jin, the MC, a.k.a. MC Jin, was like the first to win that rap battle on 106 and Park Freestyle Fridays? Yeah, won seven weeks in a row. Yeah, when he first won, though, I feel like that was shocking to people. Because they were like, whoa, this Chinese kid rap better than you? Holy, I can't even believe this Chinese kid is rhyming right now. I had never even seen a Chinese kid do anything cool at this point. Yeah, right, because this was pre Jay Lin. Yeah. This is, I want to say, pre Yao Ming. Oh, man, this was like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. a long time ago. So it's like, I, I feel like there's some of that element where it's like, you know, obviously, you know, this is funny, but next five, 10 years, you're going to see even more white people speak better uh, Chinese uh, on in the future. For now sure, for now sure. Now you're seeing uh, Afri- videos from Africans in Africa sing Chinese songs. Right, those, those go viral too. Dude, those are getting a lot of views. Dude, yeah. some of the African singers are killing the canto ballads and the mando ballads. What That's if they, crazy. They might start learning dialect. Yo, what, if, what if they just take over the scene? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, run this clip of this African singer killing this Cantonese song, man. He murked that. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this in the comment section below. Why is it going viral? Is it wholesome? Is there a larger geopolitical takeaway? What do you guys think, man? It's just good to see, you know, just some good old, well, Baba, she want her me fun. Some good old lads. There's some lads. Those are some lads for sure. Definitely some lads. Some chip up boys. And- All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys. Or should I say the Ho Guo? Erdze. Oh, Ho Guo Nan Hai. Ho Guo Nan Hai. Till next time, we out. Peace.